Chemical Equilibrium 1, Part 2. Le Chatelier's principle states that when a stress or disturbance is applied to a system at equilibrium, the system will respond by shifting in the direction that opposes, minimizes, or counteracts the effect of the stress or disturbance. But what does it mean to stress or disturb a chemical system? Stress or disturbance could be adding a reactant or product, removing a reactant or product, changing the volume of the system by increasing or decreasing it, which in turn changes concentrations of the reactants and products, changing the temperature by increasing or decreasing it. A change in any of the factors above that determine the equilibrium conditions of a system will cause the system to change in a way so as to reduce the effect of the change. Many of us are creatures of habit and are used to routine. We may become upset when some change is forced upon us and instinctively oppose or fight the change, hoping to maintain the status quo. The action we take may help to minimize unpleasant effects, and we may get into some comfortable routine again, but it won't be identical to the original routine. It will be a new normal, a new equilibrium. For example, in pre-COVID-19 times, we did things a certain way and became accustomed to our way of life. Then COVID-19 struck. Try as we might, we can't ever return to the old normal. We need to make some adjustments to eventually arrive at a post-COVID-19 new normal, a new equilibrium. Similarly, chemical systems at equilibrium also get used to the way things are. At equilibrium, they feel a sense of contentment, so to speak. But when a change is made to a chemical system, the system becomes upset and actively opposes the change. The key word here is oppose. Oppose means to do the opposite of. It tries to undo the change by taking some action that goes against the change. Its motivation for doing so is to try to return to its original state of happiness. It won't succeed in returning to its original state of happiness, but it will arrive at some new state of happiness, that is, some new equilibrium. What is the difference between position of equilibrium and chemical equilibrium? Chemical equilibrium is about the outcome of a chemical reaction, that is, a mixture of reactants and products obtained when the rates of forward and backward reactions are equal. Position of equilibrium, on the other hand, refers to the process in which the reactant and product concentrations are changing to reach equilibrium. It is the position of the equilibrium that is shifting rather than the equilibrium. Hence, it is more appropriate to write the equilibrium position shifts to the left or right. We don't say that the chemical equilibrium shifts to the left or right. The diagram shows examples of the reaction mixture comprising colorless dinitrogen tetroxide and brown nitrogen dioxide shifting the position of equilibrium. By lowering the temperature, the dark brown reaction mixture becomes light brown, implying that some brown nitrogen dioxide has been converted into more colorless dinitrogen tetroxide. But by raising the temperature, the dark brown reaction mixture becomes a darker shade of brown implying that some colorless dinitrogen tetroxide has been converted into more brown nitrogen dioxide.